Hello and welcome to Hagebi Cycliden YouTube channel. The video of today is about breeding the fish. And I'm gonna show you how, how I breed the fish, the cichlids in my fish house. I hope there's something new for everyone, also the commercial ones and also for the hobbies. When I decided to breed one type of fish, I start by working out how much of this fish I need. For some species I sell more than 1000 pieces a year, others that are more special I sell maybe 100, so I don't need so much material for breeding. For a good selling embuna, I start with sorting out the best ones from a big group. Usually I need 25 to 50 individuals with a ratio about one male and four females. Of course, I only use the best males with good color and shape. I also look at the character. Are they strong enough to secure an area and breed with the females? I, I chose the females that are not short in the body and have a nice mouth, no defects, so they can carry the juveniles. If I want to breed MCATs, I put one male inside together with the females. I take all the standard males away so they not to avoid that they breed with them because I want only juveniles that are MCATs. Normally it's easy with zebra, fine silberi, trevavase and fulleborni. Aloncara I breed with three males and maybe six to nine females alone in a tank. Sometimes I put them together with the Ambuna because they breed anyway and I don't need so much of this Aloncara. Maybe 200 pieces a year. For species that sell a lot, I keep 60 juveniles at one time so I secure the next generation and avoid to get a gap in the production. I write down the date when I see the first female holding babies. After 20 days I take the female or females out and help them to get the fry out. Females with eggs I put back to the group immediately. In special cases when I really don't want to miss the spawn I put the female with eggs separate in a small tank. Usually I put a piece of pipe inside so the female can hide a little bit and avoid to getting stressed. I don't use egg tumblers. I get enough juveniles anyway. My opinion is that it's good for the eggs to stay in the mother's mouth until they are hatched. It makes the quality of the fish better as an adult. When the juvenile is getting like one and a half to three centimeters, I take them up and sort them a little bit after how big they are, and then I put them in a bigger tank to grow faster. In the future, there will be a video how I feed the fish, the small ones and the big ones. Also, I'm gonna show how we make our own food. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoy it and for the moment that's all folks.